Hi and welcome to my channel, Adventures of Senia, and subscribe to my channel because you can. And why wouldn't you? You're already here. So go ahead and press that like button, like now. And later on, if you decide you don't like it, you can press the unlike button later. It's all up to you. Let subscribe with. Press that if you're not subscribed so you can be subscribed and join this ex family of ours. Okay, guys, that bell, make sure the parentheses are on so that you will be notified each and every time I upload. Yay! So let's get started. In case you didn't read the title, it is a collab with. A friend of mine who has her own channel and her name is Liz Fashion Talents. So see, who the Beauty Desert Dusk collab with Adventures by Senia. But it's Adventures of Senia, but that's okay. Because, you know, the link will lead you right to me. Just like in the description box below, I will be putting the link to that video. So that you can go say hi. Say hi. <laughs> and um, subscribe and have some fun. So the reason I have this phone is because I'm going to be watching what she does step by step so that I can recreate it. So Liz Fashion Talents and wondering about the hot pink brow. Well, I thought it was red because she's a hot red head and she has red eyebrows too she has beautiful red hair i can't give you red hair but i, I teased my hair in this ponytail so i'm giving you an avant-garde type style pony so i want it to be a little cray cray and she has beautiful red hair see her gorgeous and she has the palette that i have so we'll be using this palette yay so I'm going to try to do, I'm going to try to recreate her look right there. And that's why I did the brows. Because I can't do the her, but I did the brows. And my daughter thinks I'm crazy. She doesn't like my avant-garde ponytail. And she doesn't like my brows. But I don't care because it's for the video. Hi. So, of course, I'll be doing, posting on Instagram. I will be posting her. She's also on Instagram. She has, she knows how to edit. She knows how to put, she put my face in the video and all these beautiful things that I cannot do. But I still, I am shouting her out. And I'm still going to put her link the, below, in the description box below. So you go watch her and see, I see, wonder if I did a good job or not. Y'all let me know. So let's get started. Okay, you might hear her in the background, which is fine because you should hear her in the background. Right here, I'm just like and loving we her. We are doing a look on the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette. I already have it and I already used it. I don't want to blur you guys. So, yeah, I don't know what look I'm creating. I'm just going to create a look. <laughs> and yeah, so you guys should go to her channel. Show her some love, tell them Liz sent you, and see yeah, she's an awesome, awesome lady, full of energy, and she is just awesomeness. <laughs> so, yeah, happy go lucky, very positive, very giddy, very, she just makes me laugh. It's like, she's a wonderful person, she has a wonderful vibe, so yeah, go right there to her channel and show her some love um as you could see my face is already based on foundation on moisturizer on eyes are set eyebrows on and yeah let's go into this really really quick i don't want to be here like too too long make this video really long and um yeah i am going to be telling you what i'm going to what colors I'll be using so you know the, the drill I hold the palette up and I point at which shade I'll be using and where um, if I don't write it here or here I'll do a voiceover with the colors and where I'm applying it which I think those I like more of the voiceover videos let me know below if you guys do like them so like that because I think instead of 
um, explaining it here and taking more time, I'll do the voiceover. So while I'm blending, so I only got my eyebrows done. Exactly I just put my creams and so stuff. But I have no like makeup. Uh, yeah, so let's get just in the with this. She's so gonna get in with it. Grab your snack, your favorite drink, sit back, and enjoy the video. You guys already know I'm taking my unicorn and putting it She got the unicorn! I got the unicorn! <laughs> she got the uni! So she putting on uni. I got to put on uni too. Okay. We got to get uni on. She got cute um light, um, like, light blue. I have the rainbows. All right, so of course I'm gonna let you hear her whole video, but it was my way of introducing her into my video because I don't edit. Okay, I'm doing everything through my phone, but I think this is cool because you just get me and you can get old school original and you can get new wave and new school and we just can all blend. We could all live in this place and just be ourselves because you're getting me. This is just me. And you're getting her. And she has more techie. She is more techie. Okay, so. Now because my, my mirror. <laughs> so she is pointing at now I'm taking the shade this one. Eden. And I'm putting it all over. See? So she says she's taking the shade Eden and she's putting it all over. So I will too. And we're going to use uh, my Sigma. I'm, I mean, I know it says E35, but let's find out. Glasses on! Yep, E35. Because I knew it by. So E35, I'm going to be taking the one she eaten and putting it all over. She's saying as her transition shade, but she's putting it all over. So I would consider this a base shade because I'm putting it all over. So it's like if, I, if you ever see other videos of mine, um, just know that I call it a base shade when I put it all over. Because to me, transition would be the one that goes right here for me. But we all say different things and that is cool. Like I said, we here in the same family. It's our little makeup family, little makeup world, little YouTube family. It's it's good. We're not the Stepford Wives. You're going to get a little bit different. You get different characters. You get different information. And you take in what you want to take in. Remember, I'm entertainment with beauty. All right, I'm going to do the other one. I'll be right back because I don't want to like make this video the longest. And it might go into two. You know how I do So and she's I taking the shade amber and she's crease. going to start darkening the crease. All right, so let's do this. I'm building up the color. And she's building up the color. And we got a blend. Taking the shade and out. I am going to start to darken the outer corner okay. of my lid. So we are doing amber and then she's taking out. And this is out O U D. And she's gonna do the inner crease. So we're gonna do the other eye before I come back. Uh, Alright, she's going to be taking Nefertiti. So, 
She's gonna do it with her finger. She's gonna apply it all over her lid. But I'm still here in Oud. And it's funny. Because I don't know. She has great lighting. And it got dark. I started the day out real late, guys. So I just like I have my vanity mirror and a spotlight. But I am... I'm feeling like hers is coming out really like bright and beautiful where my colors feel a little bit deep and dark. So we haven't spoken more about this. Like we talked about the collab where, and I told her I would love to just follow um, her style. So I am hoping I'm going to be asking her or if she's watching this. So Liz, um... I want to continue using this same one and I want you to follow my style. <laughs> so tell me Liz, what do you think? Cause you know, it's a collab. Let's, you know, go back and forth with it. So at least, and I think it would be awesome only because then um, everyone would get to know two looks. So you get two looks from the, from this um, palette. And then you get, you know, if you got the palette, little inspiration. If not, you know, you have these colors in other, you know, you have these colors in other palettes, then you can work it. Uh, let me see where she's at now. Nefertiti, she like swatched it. She went like this. And she went out this. And now she is patting it on her eye. So let me do a glitter glue. So she's she's doing it like right here. Okay. Yeah, I need um glitter glue. I think she used glitter glue, but she did it so coolly. So hold it. Alright, so she takes her finger and she does this. All right, and then she said she didn't like it. Like it wasn't like bright enough for her. So after she did this finger thing, she actually wet her brush, her shading packer brush, and she went back in. So although mine's look a little bit bright, I'm gonna do what she want, what she's doing, cause I'm all for it. This is what she's doing, this is what we doing. So, there we go. And then, ready? We'll talk about intensity. Okay. All right, so she did that, and then let me see what else she did, because I know she cleaned it up, but I want to see what color. All right, so she took out, she took out again, and she said she's blend, she wants it to blend everything together, so it doesn't look harsh, which I do understand that for a fact you don't want the glitter to look all messy you want it to blend in and I do understand that and she's all for the blending and so am I I could blend for days I have it for days 
I wonder if all in one year of blending, like, <laughs> no, I don't know what that's. <laughs> what am I saying? I'm like, okay, and all the blending that I have done in one year, I wonder how many, how many days have I wasted? You know, like in the twelve hours, like I mean in the twenty four hours. Okay, that's what I meant. Did you get it? I don't know. <laughs> all right, let's see what she does next. All right, so she takes the same thing that was on the out, and she just blends it under her eyelid. So I could do that. I could do that. I'm doing it. Okay, and then she takes a clean brush because I did watch. So I'm going to take the Luxie Tapered Blending and she went up here and she just started blending away, blending away. So I'm just going to do the same, blending. So clean up the lines, no harshness. Okay. I can do that. That's easy peasy. It's a nice clean brush. So we're just like blending it. This is going to be like, whoa. I mean, I've done looks, but this is like more deeper than I usually do. Because it's like going inward because hers is inward too. She goes all the way in there, so I want to go all the way in there, too. Like I say, I'm recreating her look. I hope I do her proud. All right, so now she's going to take desert sand. And she is going to highlight under her brow. Ooh. By the way, this has a lot of... Take it back. Let's see. Let's see. She has nicer arch brows, so she's like got more space. But I'm just gonna take what I can. Now I'm taking the shade Saffron or Saffron. She's gonna and take Saffron. I am putting that all over mm. my lower lash line. Where's Saffron? Oh, this Saffron. This one's Saffron. And she's gonna put it all over her lower lash line. Oh, she took off the tape. Oh, I don't know. Woo! Crispy, crispy! Look at that crisp line. Ready? And I didn't do my face, guys. This is the, like one of the first few times I'm doing my eyes. Before I do my face. Oh, crispy, crispy! Alright, so she took saffron. And I'm taking it in a small one of the um, little Luxie brushes that we received. Of course, I'm going to have to get my glasses on glasses on one <laughs> all right and it's all glittery so it's hard to see it's the luxie 121 mini tapered mm, you can't even see the letter oh there you go yeah you can see the letters hmm so but to see it right i have to do it this way luxie yes 121 mini tapered so i'm gonna put saffron there and of course, I gotta take the glasses off. You saw I was about to put saffron on. Okay. So she put saffron here. So this is me putting saffron there. And since it's smaller, it's more put together. This is a look that, I, although I don't use foundation, I will use concealer. I'll do a little concealer so you guys could see the look nice and bright. So let's see what else she's doing. I want to show you her whole video. All right, now she says she's going to take the color Amethyst. And she's going to... Well, my light went on. It's off, so I'm going to put my light on. She's going to put it again under the lower lid to blend it. Blend it in, blend it in. Give her under eye a little depth. I feel you, girl. Because 
because I wanted to work since you were working in all like the reds. I wanted us to work in the purples. If you allow me to do the collab too. My turn collab, yeah. Ooh, this is dark. That's why I'm gonna use the since I went so low. I'm going to use concealer today. All right, so she did this, and then she said she was going off camera to do the rest of her face. So I'm going to do my bronzer, blush, highlight, and concealer. <laughs> okay, so next up, I, okay, as you can see, put a little bit of concealer. I did my bronzer, blush, and highlight. I forgot to re-up on that highlight, though, because that concealer kind of took it away from me. I used the Mirabella highlight, the one that we received um, a back, a while back in the Yes Oh Yes, which I really love it because it has gold and then champagne in the middle. It's a two-tone. Love it, love it, love it. So there you go. There's that little highlight peeking through with the Mirabella work. So now she's going to take a liner. I'm going to use brown. She used black. I think I just love browns. Um, you like it? Does it look brighter now that I use some um, concealer under my eye? And I did the little, how you say, I baked? I baked, I don't even bake it, I baked. I used the, from my Luxie, I used the Pretty Vulgar. And I used the Beauty Sponge. The, 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 mm, mm, and then right here, I baked. Oh my God, look at me, baked. Okay, all these extra steps to beauty that I don't take. But, hey. I'm gonna do it now. All right, so she did um, she did the tight lining on the top. Okay. So this is called tight lining. Whew. Tight lining always makes my eyes water though. And then she hit the waterline. So here I am hitting the waterline. Okay. Let me see what her next steps are. I'll be back. <laughs> like you'll miss me. You won't even know I paused it. So then she did mascara. She uses the Big Tees by Buxom. I'm using Man Eater by Tarte. I just love the tiny bristles. You can barely see those bristles. Cause it's like you got hooded eyes. The last thing you need is a big thick brush. You use a big thick brush, you'll see horrors of black on your lid that you have to wait to dry up and then you grab a dry spoolie like you know most likely one that you took from Sephora <laughs> and you just spoolie her out but why go through that right when you don't have to anyway okay so this is my man either she put it on the top and she put it on the bottom so here I am doing what she did I'm following, I'm following. Follow, follow, follow the leader. Oh, it feels like I got it on my eye. But, okay, I did it. Okay, I'll do the other one. Okay, so apparently I forgot that she did use eyeliner and did a wing. So, I did a long wing. I went a little cray cray. And I gave you a long ass wing. I want to do something. So this is what I see. This is her look. So what do you guys think? Is it nice? Mm, I'm giving her chest so chest so bronze. That chest so cheeks. So I'll be putting pictures on Instagram. But this is the look. Let's see if she says anything before, because I did it in under 30 minutes. Mascara from Buxom. Okay, she did the mascara part. I did the mascara part. And if you do give me thumbs up, mm. do, not, do not forget to subscribe to my channel so, before you leave. Do 
Her lighting is fucking awesome because hers looks so bright. And mine's look so deep and dark. But yay, yay, yay. Hugs and kisses, Liz. So Liz Fashion Talents. You know, I will be putting that link below. So this is the look. I really like it. It's um colors I wouldn't have used together. I haven't even played with the desert dust that much. But I like when <coughs> people incorporate more colors. So it looks deeper. It looks better. It looks more glamified. And I just got <coughs> dry throat. I don't know where. All right, guys. So this is the look. I'm hoping she'll go into the collab reverse. So that she can follow a look I choose to do with this palette. <laughs> Bye!